basically there were two worlds going on. There was the academic world and there was the dormitory world. And most of the problems were in the dormitory world as opposed to in the academic world other than, other than with Miss Wormley. You know, I've gone all the way through academics, all the way through the PhD level and tenured as a professor and all that, but the, the, um, the academic pressure has never been as high as it was in those, in those first two years um, because there was a lot of physical and verbal and social kinds of um, punishment that were meted out. I remember her turning desk over getting so angry she'd just come up to us and, and just turn the desk over with us sitting in it. I, I remember kids having to go up to the blackboard and they couldn't get the answer and I remember Dorothy Wormley's voice escalating and escalating saying, you know, what is the answer? What is the answer? And taking yardsticks and I can remember her um, breaking yardsticks, beating kids. Uh, I can still see in my mind's eye this little girl, first grade girl ahead of me, kept raising her hand, you know, and, and what started off is just a request, can I go to the bathroom, that was repeated to the point where this little girl was, was begging, I need to go to the bathroom. I will never forget. The girl finally crossed her arms on her desk and laid her head down and just started weeping. And then I watched as the urine rolled off from the back of her chair and, 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 and just rolled onto the floor, you know, and, and, and dripped. And that little girl had to sit there in sheer humiliation, having wet her pants in front of everybody. And, and the teacher would act like nothing happened, too bad for you. You know, just sit there in it. That's part of your punishment. You, you couldn't hold it in, that's your problem. <laughs>